Good morning. We're standing here in Sayers Common on the Sayers Meadow development, which has literally just been finished by Linden Homes. They are still on site and they're literally at the final knockings of doing the landscaping. And I'm about to show you around number 69 Goldcrest Drive, which is that semi-detached house in the middle of your screen now. Um, this is a rather lovely development. It's, it, like I say, it's just nearly finished. They've built 133 houses here in total. Um, before I take you into the house, I'm just going to show you around here in uh, Nuthatch Lane because it gives you an idea of the perimeter uh, of the development because you've got these big detached houses on the end and then behind them and around the corner, it's just all countryside. Now, if you don't know Sayers Common, it's a rather lovely village. It's located just to the west of Hurst Pier Point Village and just west of the A23. So if you need to uh, get down to Brighton, Gatwick or use the M25 for... Uh, uh, motorway access this is a dream spot to be you're literally a 10 minute drive out of central brighton and we're about 25 minute 30 minute up to the m25 junction 7. so this is nut hatch lane and as you can see these are all the bigger detached houses down the bottom there is all countryside and sayers common is totally surrounded by some rather lovely countryside i do a lot of running and walking around here and you can lose yourself for hours on the lane. Now the village, uh, they've got a great little community village store for your basic daily needs. You've got the Duke of York pub, which is a fabulous privately run pub by local people. Uh, do a really good Sunday dinner in there. So if you are coming over, come and have a lunch in there. And uh, as far as schools, the nearest school, primary school, is in the village of Auburn, which is not even a mile to our south. You've also got schools in Hurstpier Point. Hurstpier Point is one and a half miles away where you've got a beautiful old high street. And just beyond Hurst, you've got Hassocks Village. So Hassocks Station is 3.8 miles from where we're standing. And obviously being on the A23, Brighton, I haven't actually done the distances, but Brighton's probably eight miles to the south. Gatwick about 17 miles to our north, which is very, very handy as well. So as you can see, we've got a carport. Um, what was really good, uh, Lyndon actually put these electric car charger points in and that is standard. Um, I'll show you the garden next, once we've been around the house. So come inside. Now this house is um, was built to their Beckett design and this, they didn't build many of these. I think there's only about 11 or 12 of these on the site. Um, and you'll see, this is a really practical three bedroom house. So first things first, in the hall, the owners went for various upgrades. So when you buy a home from Linden Homes, and quite a lot of developers now, you can buy a, a, a bronze, silver or gold package. This is like the gold package. So they went for the upgraded Candine flooring, upgraded kitchens, bathrooms, tiling, carpets, various things are much higher spec than standard. So downstairs loo, really nice living room, double aspect, so good size room. The owners of this one, they're only moving. They've got a little one, they've got a little one uh, that's just arrived. As you'll see, we're all rather chaotic at the moment with the baby and they're wanting, uh, they want to move to Haywards Heath. They found an empty property through us, which is uh, chain free, so ready to go. So if you're keen to move fairly fast, this is ideal. And then look at this kitchen, fabulous kitchen. So proper kitchen, dining room, double aspect. And this was what I was saying about uh, the, the, you know, the finishing touch. So they've got natural stone worktops. I think they're granite of some sort. You've got upgraded, um, um, I forgot the name of it, the um, induction hob, uh, upgraded appliances, but really nicely done. And then what I think is fab, look at this. If you've got a young child or children or a dog, you've got a proper utility room. So you've got plumbing out here for the washing machine. That is a great big understairs cupboard. Um, something I'm surprised Lyndon's didn't do, and if it was my house, I think I would. I would make this into a proper utility room and run a worktop along that wall. These are just freestanding, these sort of dresser units. But a worktop along that wall with all your plumbing and put another sink in there. It's a really handy space. I'll take you out in the garden in a minute. The lovely thing is, and it's a sh shame to see it on a miserable old winter's day like this, this is west facing. So this is an absolute sun trap. And it's one of the biggest plots as well. Come upstairs. Yeah, so these carpets again, upgraded carpets. Very clever people, these developers now. They'll charge you for anything they can. And then coming round. So this is the main bedroom. Again, double aspect. We obviously have a little bedside cot in here at the moment, but this one has the range of wardrobe. Again, that was an extra and a really nice outlet. I do like, I mean, with a lot of these new developments that are being built in the last few years, they are laying them out really well. So there's loads of green spaces. There's little kiddies play areas. There's natural areas, lots of ponds. 
for the wildlife. So they really do think about it. If you go back, I've done this job 35 years. If you go back to the 80s and the 90s, they didn't really care. They just built as many houses as they can on the land. Whereas now you've almost got to have as much green space as you have housing. Um, just to quickly say, over the stairs, that is a really deep cupboard. I won't open that, but that's a double depth cupboard. Family bathroom. Nicely done as well. Now, the, the owners of this one also chose to have a bit more tiling around the whole bath. So if you're having a shower, you're not ruining your walls. And a window in the bathroom. Also, you may have noticed a window in the ensuite. If you've followed any of my videos, you'll know I do like a window in the bathroom. Nice bedroom here. Now, this is, believe it or not, let me just show you next door. That is the smallest bedroom. So this is the second nice big double. Again, overlooking the green to the front. And then that third bedroom, as you can see, these guys are using it as a home office, as so many people do. But that is, by today's standards, a small double. I think this house is around about 1,100 square feet, which is much bigger than average as far as three bedroom modern houses go. They do do a couple of smaller design houses here, but they're only around 900 square feet, which is typical three bed semi. But Lindens, they did a development in Haywards Heath a few years ago at Fox Hill, and they had a house there. Uh, I'm trying to remember what it was called, the design, but again, it was this, this big chunky three bed. I, w I so like three beds that are this big rather than squeeze it and make it a tiny four bed. They've just made it a really super sized three bedroom. So that's the inside. So just to recap, master bedroom with ensuite, two further doubles and a proper bathroom, proper size living room. I mean, you could call that a lounge dining room really. And of course the kitchen dining room here with the separate utility room and then come outside. Now again, you do not get a terrace and all this quality paving. This is proper sandstone um, in a new build these days. Now this garden, 42 feet in length, directly, pretty much directly west facing. Uh, the owner's got this concrete base, which I think the intention was to build a really lovely big uh, garden studio room to work from or a gym or rather than use the garage for cars, you can, you know, fill up everything from the junk. So there you go. That is number 69 Hillcrest Drive in Sayers Common. It's for sale through Mansell McTaggart in Burgess Hill. If it's of interest, please get in touch with them. And um, if you are seriously looking for a property, follow us on YouTube or better still, register on our database. Because a lot of these properties are not, are a lot of our properties, not this one, are being offered quietly under the radar, as we call it, rather on things than on things like right move. Hope you found that video helpful. Please give the Burgess Hill office some feedback if you found this useful and more informative than just staring at photos and floor plans. Thanks for watching.